And now, your local weather expert forecast on the Eyewitness News, named best local weather coverage in America by Broadcasting and Cable Magazine. We are out and about, and Kenner is our point of destination today, and the Rivertown Science Museum Planetarium. If you haven't been here in a while, there's a lot to see, and I remember coming here as a kid, and it's yes. a little bit different. Heidi Glorioso with the museum is uh, joining us, and WWL is proud to continue our partnership with the updated local yes. weather expert experience. Tell us a little about the exhibit, and then a little bit more about the museum itself. Sure, so the Rivertown Museums have been here for more than 20 years. They've changed a bit over the years, so today we like to focus on science and space. So we have three facilities, the Kenner Planetarium, the Science Center where we are today, and the Space Station Museum. So here in the Science Center we have a brand new WWL weather station exhibit so kids can practice doing weather forecasts. And there and, have been a lot of kids practicing. Yes, yeah, so we had a couple models up on the stage a few minutes ago, <laughs> but uh, they just love, love seeing themselves on camera yeah, and practicing the weather forecast. Well, it's kind of typical of a science museum. It's incredibly interactive yes. and hands-on. It's very much a hands-on. Yeah. Uh, type of exhibit display. Lots of exhibits. We have uh, illusion exhibits. We have um, a new Connect gaming experience where kids can try to throw uh, solar flares at the solar system and interrupt the orbits of planets. So lots of new things. Uh, very interactive. Very high tech. So uh, very suitable for kids these days. So obviously you can try out your skills as a meteorologist. Learn more about the weather. And we do some videos kind of explaining weather processes. Yeah. But beyond just meteorology, you've got a mock-up of the space station as yes. well, which I think is really cool. Yes, full-scale mock-up of the International Space Station, so you can walk through it, see how the astronauts live and work in space, so very fun. And then the planetarium, you do educational as well as fun type of shows. Right, we do have astronomy, solar system-based shows, but we also have fun laser light shows. So right now we're running our Fright Light Laser Halloween show. In November and December, we'll have Laser Holidays, a christmas theme show, so we're always changing it up, have something new every day. A lot to learn, a lot of fun, a lot of exhibits. Yes. Heidi, thank Thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Appreciate it. And thank you for continuing our partnership. Thank we you. really love doing it. And a lot of kids are enjoying practicing doing the weather. So let's see if I can do it for real. We've been talking about the cold, and we do have one more cold night and morning before we will begin a warming trend. Another freeze warning is in effect for tonight and tomorrow. Same areas that we saw it overnight last night. Now, this morning, look at the low temperatures. We were widespread on the North Shore, either at or below freezing. So many locations We've got a lot of pictures in a frost kind of widespread. Also some of that extended down to the river parishes, maybe not quite to the northern bayou parishes, but it was still plenty cold. 62 was our high today. Normal it's 80. Are we our high was lower than our normal low for this time of year. We stayed very, very chilly right now outside as the sun goes down. Beautiful evening under mostly clear skies and the temperatures have started to drop. We're in the 50s to low 60s outside right now and the winds have gone calm. With those light winds and still very dry air, it's possible that some locations north of the lake could even be a degree or two colder than we were this morning. We still a little bit of a breeze during the overnight period. Big upper low is what brought down this cold Canadian air. However, you can kind of watch the pattern on water vapor. This is starting to retreat back northward. So the core of the cold will begin moving more into eastern Canada, but it's not done yet. That will start moving north. We will start a warming trend over the next couple of days by the weekend. And we're back into the low 80s, a little bit more humid that will continue on into early next week. Then the models indicating another cold front. This one probably originating not as much in Canada and maybe Western Canada, but coming out of the Pacific Northwest. Note that the core of this will likely stay more to our north. So while our temperatures will be dropping as we head toward the middle to end of next week, it won't be nearly as cold. So the core of that cold air is starting to lift away. But again, it's not going to be uh, forever. We will see another drop in those temperatures by next week. Really what we need is some rainfall and could get that with the next front. So expect the warming trend into the weekend with another drop in temperature and note our high temperatures going into next week, not nearly as dramatic. So no low 60s for high more low 70s, probably about as cold as we would get. Now most of the model guidance is indicated or what we've been discussing with the forecast is based on the GFS model and is having kind of a clean frontal passage and a good chance of much needed rainfall. The Euro not quite on board with that scenario. The Euro, the upper pattern not quite moving as far south so the euro keeps the front off to our west 
and slowly moves into the area. So about the same time that the GFS has the front moving on through, the Euro is saying, eh, not so fast, but also bringing in a chance of rain. So both models indicating that much needed chance of rain. The Euro not quite as chilly. We'll see. Overnight lows again north of the lake will be near freezing. As we head into the day tomorrow, a little milder will be near 70 degrees. That's still below the average. Seven day forecast that warming trend takes us into the weekend with another drop in temperatures by early next week.